All right, we are going to work self-defense. Question. Somebody tell me what self-defense is. Anybody, anybody, anybody. You! Uh, something that prevents your opponent from attacking you. You're basically protecting yourself. How many moves should you do in self-defense technique? Exactly one, no matter how many steps, it should only be one move. Now, realistically, once again, I'm a huge fan of martial arts movies. I got into into karate because of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris fighting the Roman Coliseum. You do know who those people are, correct? Who's Bruce Lee? Why, wow, that was a simple one. Yeah, this was Chuck Norris. All right. Now, what we mean by... Your self-defense technique should be only one move. Uh, Mr. Chris, get a left fighting stance. Juggle. Step forward, punch. Block, punch. How many steps in that technique? One. Because this is our mindset at Five Dragons Karate. He steps in. Okay. Looks like two, but when he steps in, one. He steps in, punches to the head. That is one move. Because what happens, people get this in their head. He steps in. Okay, oh, I got that block. Um, wait a minute. What was the next thing I was supposed to do? Exactly. You freeze up, you're done. Okay? And actually, when I took him down, I just reacted to him attacking me. I didn't plan that out. So. What we're going to do is, now this is planned, for now. He steps in, step forward, block, punch. And that's it. On the street, number one, main reason why we step forward is it hurts him more than it hurts me. That's a good block. If I step back, his fist is there. And a lot of people don't teach you this, but come in slowly. Okay, there's my block, but guess what? There's this thing called physics. Yes. So... Even though my, my arm is here, his punch is still coming at me. But by stepping in, I redirected his punch. And if you didn't notice, when he first punched at me, his fist was here. But when I stepped in, it was there. Okay? Boom. So, on the street, he comes in. That's it. So you can do upper riser block reverse punch. Alright, people on this side, you're defending, people on this side, you're attacking. Get a left fighting stand. People on the other side, don't you get in the fighting position because you walk down the street like this, senpai, and then you're paranoid. Relax. You know what to do. We're in a controlled environment. You're going to do this on your own. You're going to do ten times yourself. After you've done it ten times, switch, do it ten times the other way. You know why sometimes they don't count it out? Exactly, because people get robotic. And they tend to like, they don't react until they hear, when you hear each, you know it's coming. But if you're looking at your opponent, oh, then you gotta react. All right, so, Hajime, go. And Sensei, just, there you go. Put some feeling in it, guys. There we go. And make sure you count. <laughs> Come on, somebody breaking that punch should have been faster. No. Don't worry about, I'm sorry. Wait, you guys are attacking now, correct? Alright, continue. My fault. Come on. Ten times each side. Get the other hand ready to go. Don't punch like this. There you go. It's not bad. Put some feeling in it. Right. You're here. It's not here. It should be. Here. Fire and function. Transfer. After you've done it ten times, both individuals, just stop. Alright. Yeah, 
better ones. Damn. Okay. Some crazy people. Yes. Pin one more. Play by you, Chris. All right. Our next. Oh. I don't think they rotated. Since I, I don't think both rotate? sides did. Right. Oh, okay. Chris, All right. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. Judas Soto Uki, middle outside block. Now, right now, because I want to like try to cover a lot of distance, we're basically doing things off of a right-handed attack. Why? Because most people are right-handed and they attack with the right side. There are left-handed people, and what we do off one side, we should do off the other. What we do standing up, we should be able to do off the ground. And actually, that's another interesting thing that came up about self-defense. And we were watching a um, thing on YouTube, and um, they were interviewing Steven Seagal. And one of the things I agree with Steven Seagal was he said, most people say 90% of fights end up on the ground. I don't agree with that. I have been in street fights. And not knocking anybody else, but it's hard to say what's going to happen in a street fight if you've never been in a street fight. And guess what? You know what's going to happen on a street fight? Whatever happens in a street fight. There is no predictability to it. Okay? I could be defending myself against Mr. Chris. This guy over here could be just drunk. Sees a fight, decides, well, oh, I'm just going to jump in there. It's happened. Okay? So, me personally, I don't want to go on the ground because I'm not a ground fighter. Also, too, if you're on the ground, you really got nowhere to go. You're actually kind of vulnerable. And one of the arguments is, oh, well, if you don't practice Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you can't fight off the ground. Not necessarily true, because guess what? If this is a street fight, and I'm on the ground, and you try to armbar me, I'm going to take a chunk out, I'm going to bite your leg, I'm going to punch you in the groin, I'm going to put my thumb in your eyes, I'm going to spit in your face. And guess what? You go, <clears throat> most people do this. So there you go. Yes? This is James Warren. He's a school bus. Somebody small like me, they're going for a school bus. Yeah. Well, that was the other thing, too. The talk was, you know, we're fighting, guy's going to do this. And one of the things I agreed with Steven Seagal was, don't give up the back of your head. How many times have I taught you? When you throw a punch, don't leave your hand out because the back of the snake's head is the most vulnerable spot. If I do this, okay, yeah, I might grab your legs, but you can punch me in the back of the head, you can elbow me, and not for nothing. But, um, and I can't remember the name of the fuck, the guy's fighting, but we saw it. The guy went in for a scoop. The other guy did a jumping knee. Just random. Hit him in the eye socket, the x-ray, I have never seen an injury so horrible in my life. It looked like the bones around his eyes were just little pieces of grains of sand. Nobody intended it. Even the guy was like, oh, I'm, so, so, I'm sorry I did that. But guess what? If somebody comes at me like this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to step back. I'm going to bring my knee up. I'm going to start punching him in the head. I'm going to react to that. But, so, when it comes to self-defense... Simple's the best. And as I tell people, a fight should last no more than 10 seconds. You should throw, you should not have to throw more than three techniques. Because if you continue on fighting, you're going to get tired, you're going to get winded, you're going to make a mistake. He's going to lock up. His buddies are going to show up. All kinds of crazy things can happen. Hey, for all you know, you'll be winning the fight, and all of a sudden the asteroid hits you in your head. <laughs> Where are we living today? Where are we living? All right, so this one, we're going to work the middle outside block. He steps in, block, and that's when you get a good snap, it should hurt them. And guess what? You saw how his arm hurt? Fight's over. But this time, block, back fist, punch. We're not going to worry about doing takedowns right now, but he comes in, block, loose. Let me slow it down for you. Watch again. I'm going to do a sensei speed. All right, hold on. Stay. Now I'm going to do it so you can see it. Block, back fist, punch. 
Now don't backfish your partner. So if I break it, how many fingers am I holding up? Exactly. All right, same thing. Do it 10 times each side. Do we need to break it down first? Or you think you got it? Just do a middle outside block, back this punch. All right. Um, this side will defend first. You're attacking. Do it 10 times and then switch. Go! Come on, put some feeling in it. There you go. Now, if you're blocking and your partner hasn't gone out yet, you're throwing a crappy block. There we go. Don't drop your head, senpai. Move it up. Now there. Senpai. There you go. Now put some feeling in it. Oh, not block. He just touches his arm. Block it. Go. You can take it. There you go. I just punch. Outstanding. Sorry, Brecken. Let's see what you got. What are you doing with the left hand? That's okay. Why a little technical? Try to get this hand a little. Your T-Lex in it a little bit. Try to keep the hand loose. Alright, let's see what you guys got. Yeah, I don't have a problem. That's a... No, I'm saying. What are we going on, huh? Go ahead. I'm trying to do it. First time. Did you go? 